Hi, I'm Hot King. I'm your chef today. We're going to be doing one of my very favorite breakfasts, and it's called machaca. We're making machaca today. It's um, a very popular Mexican breakfast favorite. It's one of my favorites. Um, the only real difficult part about this is to roast the meat the night before. Um, I would suggest I round place it in a broth bath with garlic, bay leaf, maybe some chilies, roast it in a slow oven, 225, 250 at the most, and overnight, pull it out, let it cool enough for you to peel off the silver skin and extra fat, and then cut it in about one inch to one and a half inch pieces, and then we're going to shred it up. This is served as breakfast quite often with scrambled eggs and a tortilla, which we'll do today. But I also have put it in burritos, put it in tacos, uh, anything you'd like. So we take the beef, shred it up. I've got a pan getting hot behind me. We're going to place oil and cook potatoes that I've sliced and then rinsed some of the starch off of. And I'll be introducing jalapenos and onions after the potatoes start to color up. I don't want to put the onions in too soon because then there's a chance that they'll char and darken rather than just lightly caramelizing. We also want for this recipe some salsa. Now you can use jarred salsa right off the shelf um, if you're not going to make it yourself. We happen to have a salsa that we sell here that's made from roasted tomatoes it's very good and that's what I'm going to use in this particular recipe today. Like I said, we get the beef all shredded up. It only takes a moment. It's going to break up in the pan pretty fast anyway. The pan is almost hot. We can add our oil. The potatoes again have been sliced and then I've rinsed off the extra starch. We're going to finish breaking up the meat, and then as the potatoes cook, we'll introduce the onions and jalapenos. You can use almost any roast for this. Um, I like the leaner roasts, like Eye of Round or Rump Roast. I used Eye of Round this particular time. You don't need to get real fancy with them in your preparation. Go ahead and just cook them as you have them. Put the fat cap on the top. So the fat drains into the meat, helps to keep it juicy. Um, then after it's been cooked, the silver skin will come right off. It'll be very easy to take care of. This is gonna take a few minutes while the potatoes start to brown in color. And once they do, then we'll start introducing the other parts. Okay, the potatoes have started to color up. See this kind of a golden color. Now we're going to introduce onions. I've, I, I've also seasoned them with salt and pepper. Please be um, liberal with salt when it comes to potatoes. They're a sponge. And if you do not put salt on them, they just don't taste right. Um, I have onions and jalapenos. I'm going to add them to the pan. As soon as the onion's starting to get a little bit clear, we'll throw the meat in. Well, we'll put the meat in. I'm not throwing anything anywhere. This show is sponsored by Battle Mountain Midway Market. Come and get your fresh vegetables and meats. Again, use any salsa you want. We are going to use our roasted tomato salsa. We make this in-house. We make actually a few salsas here. A roasted tomato, we have a, a pico de gallo, which is a fresh salsa. And then we also do what we call a sal salsa brava, home style with tomatillos and chilies. 
it's a little more spicy probably not appropriate for this dish the onions are already starting to just to uh, turn clear and we're going to add the meat which I've shredded so it heats through I've had this dish in several different places um, my biggest disappointment has been when it's very very dry which it can be I mean the beef itself since it's fairly lean doesn't have a lot of innate moisture in it so the trick is making sure that you add enough moisture through the salsa so that the meat isn't dry and hard to eat don't be afraid to put a lot of salsa in it, or plenty of salsa, I should say, rather than a lot, so that you have a fair amount of moisture in it. As this gets heated through, and you're seeing the vegetables are starting to transform, we're going to use the salsa. It'll do a couple of things besides adding this moisture and flavor to the dish. It's also going to deglaze the pan a little bit. And then as this is finishing up, we're going to uh, get our tortillas warmed up and cook up some eggs. And we'll be right back. folks we've got butter melted I've got eggs in here our machaca is ready and this is what we're going to serve it with a little bit of scrambled egg I don't salt the eggs before I cook them I salt it afterwards we have tortillas on the the placa colma whatever you want to call it the griddle getting warm I'm using a blended tortilla, which is corn and flour. You can use whatever you would like. Once the egg starts to set, you can add salt and pepper. And it's just that easy. We have machaca. That's what we're serving for breakfast today. Grab a plate and I'll show you how it looks. There you have it. If anybody told you not to play with your food, they're wrong. Have a nice day.